Okay, so in our last video, we were just mentioning that sodium has the electron configuration of neon plus a 3s1 electron. And if it were to lose that electron, it would then have the electron configuration of neon, which would include this really super stable filled 2s2, 2p6, completely filled. And that, that's the name of the game, stability. And once sodium would get that super stable electron configuration, there's kind of no reason for its electrons to change after that, right? And if its electrons aren't going to move around or change, then it's not going to be really reacting with anything. So in a way, once you're a noble gas or you have the electron configuration of a noble gas, you've kind of, you've kind of reached this steady state, this very uh, stable electron configuration. We saw it from the flip side, because if you're bromine, 4s2, 3d, then 4p5, you only need to gain one electron to be 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, again, having that completely filled 4s and 4p sublevels. That would give you the electron configuration of krypton, again, a noble gas, super stable. So if bromine gained that electron, it too would kind of reach this state where its electrons would already be super stable and they wouldn't really tend to do anything else after that. And remember, an ion, an ion is just an atom that has more protons than it has electrons or more electrons than it has protons. So let me just write here. So cation is just the name of the ions that are positive. And that means that they've lost electrons. They have more protons than electrons. And then anion the opposite. It's a net negative. And that means that it's gained electrons. Right? So that means that it has more electrons than protons. So electrons greater than protons here, and here protons greater than electrons. So if sodium were to lose this 3s1 electron, it would become a cation because it would be positive. It would be it would have one more proton than electron, so it would have a charge of plus one. So we just write it as a plus. You don't have to write the one. So if it lost that electron, it would become sodium plus, and its electron configuration would be that of neon. Again, super stable. Bromine, if it gained one electron, it would be an anion. It would have now one more electron than proton. Now it's Br minus one, and it would have the electron configuration of krypton. And if we go back to the periodic table, we can see that kind of all of these guys in group 1a and group um, 2a, for example, potassium, right, it's just like sodium, but now it needs to lose its 4s1 electron, and it'll just be just like argon, right? Once this loses the 4s1 electron, it becomes just like argon. So potassium would tend to lose that electron, and that would make it a positive potassium ion, a cation of plus 1. Same with rubidium. Right? Rubidium, if it loses this 5s1 electron, will have the electron configuration of krypton. And because that's super stable, that, that rubidium 5s1 electron is really kind of itching to get out of there, if we're going to give them right, an analogy and give them feelings. For this group 2a, they have to lose two electrons. So for example, calcium, if it loses its two 4s electrons, it'll have the electron configuration of argon. Right? and so on and so forth. If we did barium, it would lose these 6s2 electrons and would have the configuration of xenon. So barium would tend to have a plus 2 ion, right? It would tend to lose those two electrons. Why? Because if it can, it gets the electron configuration of xenon, which is kind of where the most stable um, set of atoms are, right? All the ones that have the electron configuration of a noble gas. If we go over here to fluorine, all of these guys need one extra electron, right? If chlorine gains one electron, it becomes argon in its electron configuration. Iodine would become xenon if it gained one. And we could say for the next column over, if oxygen gained two, it would be neon. If selenium gained two, it would be krypton. So selenium would tend to form a negative two ion, right? It would tend to gain two electrons making it a negative 2. And so this is how we'll start thinking about ion formation.